What up, gamers? Quit talking about the Chinese game industry and posting feminist propaganda immediately, because today we are going on a journey to the West. Uh, You guys are listening to Super Despair World, the only podcast that will break the cycle of reincarnation and achieve enlightenment. Uh, If that sounds like something you want to do, Dave, uh, tell folks how they can also become one of our enlightened masters. Wow, if you're really seeking enlightenment, then look no further than climbing to the top of the temple that is uh, patreon.com slash super despair world I think I'm, I should check that out at some point but I'm pretty sure that's a URL but you can join our patreon for free and if you don't want to just join it for free you can donate a sinister six dollars to see the, the the continued success and development of this wonderful podcast and you also get some access to some bonus episodes and stuff like that which is really cool and will definitely bring you on the path uh, to samsara or something like that. In addition to that, we have a Discord that you can join and talk to some really cool, also enlightened and uh, anti-woke gamers. And like you can come there and, and just hang out with us and some other people who listen to this podcast. And, and your life will be eternally enriched. It's the best thing you can do for yourself and for the others around you. Um, so, so do one of those things, please, please. I'm begging you, please. You ever think about how, um, like a lot of people have this perception of Buddhists as like, oh, it's like, oh, it's about giving up like worldly material possessions and like letting go of that, like desire and greed and things like that. But then you look at a lot of Buddhist temples and it's like a bunch of statues, like literally like made of gold and it's just like stuff made of like fancy silk and expensive bullshit. And I don't know. I think that says something a lot about, uh society anyway support us on (laughs) patreon.com i think that that fits the metaphor (laughs) yeah Uh, well i mean there are a lot of trustafarians that love buddhism so it can't be that ascetic there's 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 definitely some 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 aesthetic to it i mean they have cool temples at least a lot of nice colors um it is pretty cool guys help us help us build our own uh lavishly extravagant uh temple of our own while we tell you to uh log off the websites we talk about every week (laughs) yeah absolutely that's that's a great idea i i support that fully there's a there's a a thing that that lives rent free in my head have you ever heard of the it's like a meme thing have you ever heard of this thing called wise posting (laughs) <laughs> no no there was so this started as like a like i think i think this is like a facebook post or something a, a long time ago no i think this is this is a, t- a tweet whatever uh this person writes i literally had a nightmare that everyone on the internet was doing something called wise posting but i just couldn't get it right so people would bombard my replies with a sentence mm, no very unwise and it has like a picture of like an like an ancient chinese scholar looking disapprovingly <laughs> That's pretty awesome. I mean, that's really funny. It's also a little concerning that you're dreaming about stuff like that. Well, um, okay, look, this is like a, a whole genre of like posts on the internet where it's like, oh, I had a dream where I described like a weird situation, but it's like, no, I just wanted to write a funny tweet. So I don't know. It's like, yeah, a that's, device. that's true. I guess I'm still getting bamboozled by the internet and thinking that things that people post might actually reflect life and then it's like oh no these people they don't they don't live yeah they don't I'm, live. I'm the only person who has authentically weird dreams everyone else is just making it up uh <laughs> so i'm not sure if i have like internet dreams i have weird dreams all the time but i don't think it's ever like i had an I internet was, dream yeah. literally last night but i don't want to share it because it's embarrassing and very online <laughs> Yeah, see? See, folks? I was like, I had a dream where, like, uh, somebody that was I was mad about posted the most dumb bullshit, and I was getting up in the replies, and uh, let's just leave it at that. <laughs> this is what Twitter does to you, folks. Get off of Twitter. Don't use Twitter, guys. This yeah, is, truly, I am, yeah. I am truly Christ-like, and that I'm suffering to deliver all these, like, uh, interesting insights to, to the rest of you who don't need to be on Twitter, unlike me, who will never leave. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. We need Briar to be on Twitter all the time to uh, give us these nuggets. But uh, for the rest of you, you know, it's it's the my hands look like this, so hers can look like this. <laughs> <meme>. <laughs> Truly, I am. Truly, I'm, I'm scrolling uh, to absolve everyone else of their sins. 
Uh, so today isn't a Reddit episode, but I kind of wanted to start off on a light note. Uh, this is this is I'm going to link this to you, Dave. This is the top post from Wise Posting, and it's just people making like very like 2010 sort of like advice animal memes on pictures of like old Chinese scholars or whatever. And it's very funny to me that the the top post on the subreddit <laughs> is the foolish man questions a stranger's gender, the wise man her own, and it's like okay, <laughs> I dig this. Yeah, that's pretty good actually. Yeah, this that is followed was the first by one that popped open as well. It's followed by it takes two wipes to know you need three wipes, but three wipes to know you needed two. <laughs> that's that's actually pretty. That's pretty wise. Ah, like, yes, very clever. wise, very wise indeed. <laughs> uh, I'm leaving this tab open. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go here and get enlightened. It's later. like it's it's very simple, but I don't know. This is just like a good a good wholesome uh, style of shit post. I'm a, I'm a big fan of wise posting. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, let's get into what we were actually going to talk about today. Uh, we're talking about gamers capital g gamers once again, again. once again uh truly uh the fight never ends uh and there's there's a game that came out quite recently that's been making a lot of news in some circles maybe uh let's talk about it uh what's the game that just came out uh dave what is it what is it wukong black myth black wukong? myth wukong yeah. i believe yeah. yeah yeah so this is like uh i don't know pe- people are framing it i think it's like an actiony, they say souls like sort of game coming out of China. I, I think it's debatable if it's souls like. I don't really know. I've watched like some gameplay. I actually I went to the trouble to get to get the most unbiased uh look at this game. Uh and I looked up a bunch of like gameplay videos, no commentary at all, just the game by itself running. Uh, somebody playing it without without saying a word. And the first thing I'll say is like it's really fucking funny to me that like People have been talking about this for like a week or two, but at the time of recording, like I did not see any gameplay of this until like an hour ago. I don't know. It's like there's a lot of a lot of talk going on about this game, but very little in the way of like people actually showing off what it looks like, which is strange to me. <laughs> that is true. I didn't think about that. Yeah, I had to seek out actual gameplay uh, footage as well. And but it was never forced upon me. I but, but what was forced upon me was the the discourse around this game. I, I guess if you can call it that. Yeah. So like this is kind of in the vein of uh, some releases we talked about before. I know it was in one or it might have been the second uh, Capital G Gamers episodes. Uh, we previously talked about a game called Stellar Blade, which was like great value brand near automata just like a a game with a big titty woman who like goes and beats up the monsters or some shit like that and i guess it was like a big deal because like all the the big anti-woke people really latched onto it and black myth wukong is kind of like following in that tradition of like games that i think are mostly popular because of some perceived controversy but looking into it it looks kind of kind of mid i don't know what was what was your impression from watching people actually play it so far i mean i i never played any of these souls like games i don't really like games like that i like god of war i know that's not don't don't at me in the comments i know that's not a souls like but just you know what i mean like the third person like run around and like hit the attack button and then like drink potions and i guess you what do you like level up your your skill tree or whatever they just uh, it doesn't it it looks kind of boring to me i don't like if you like that kind of stuff that's cool I, I, I don't quite get it. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think these games are all right. I know a couple of years ago I played the, the 2018 God of War, which is like the fourth God of War game, but they just called it God of War. It's the one where he becomes like a dad or anything. And it's like, he, he just says like boy over and over again. And I don't know, it's it's, yeah. it's about like Norse mythology or something. Uh, it kind of falls in, into that trap god of war that is of like games are like oh this really wants to be a movie this has like big long cut scenes and it's like right. the gameplay is pretty basic and in spite of that i did actually i did actually relatively like 2018 god of war but like in terms of like the genre itself i think these like button mashy whatever like basic combos progress your skill tree sort of action games i think they're pretty like 
basic i don't know like i look at these and it's like this seems like a ps2 game in terms of like its mechanics like we haven't really evolved that much in terms of what these are like actually like to play in however many years and i get the same vibe when i look at people play uh black myth wukong it looks like i don't know it's a very pretty game uh like the the graphics are nice i've heard some people say it has some like performance issues even on like relatively good pcs or something like that not really a huge deal that sort of thing can be patched i guess but like i look at the game and it's like okay you're pressing the buttons he's doing all the the big spinny flips and he's hitting enemies with the stick or whatever and some of the boss fights look neat i don't know uh some of the cutscenes. it was like the have, did you watch any of the cutscenes for this game no i fucking hate cutscenes. let's get cutscenes out of games guys it's <laughs> it's th- those days are over all right let's that's fair yeah. i don't know i i i I'm not I'm not super anti cutscene or whatever, but I will say some of the ones in this game it's like some characters have a very British sort of accent, which is a little weird to me about this game mm, that's based on like like, it. like Journey yeah. to the West, like this classic like literary Chinese like folklore sort of thing. Um and, yeah, and great great story, by the way. Yeah, uh, that was a thing that bothered me a lot in Final Fantasy XIV as well. It's like, oh, let's just make everybody, like, British. I guess British is just, like, the default, like, fantasy accent. To, to, yeah, to... <laughs> yeah, and, and you see that everywhere. I mean, you see that in, in every fantasy depiction is it's just like this is the this is the the accent of people in, in mystical wonderland. They all, like the the like elves and the humans are british and the dwarves are scottish and like i i guess everybody else just makes grunting sounds i don't know one of the the funniest examples of this in in ff14 there's an npc in like the the east asia themed expansion who's like the leader guy of this like chinese themed like city state or something and he has like a very like british sort of accent because i guess they hire like a british voice acting studio for that game but normally he'll sound like british all the time but then he'll say like a very like japanese or chinese sort of word and for that one word specifically he'll just just like really cake on like the chinese like wise sort of accent it's very funny to me <laughs> wow okay yeah do that's, you know uh that's great do you know do you know toby fox the the undertale guy oh yeah of course this uh this is a notorious clip where he's like so like he he speaks japanese he he does a lot of stuff uh for the the japanese audience of that game he was doing like some like convention some kind of like press release something he was just like talking maybe it was an award show i don't really remember and he was talking uh in japanese with like a very like natural sort of accent and just in the middle of like he's listing games that inspired him and in the middle of the list of games he goes like toho project in the most like jarring american (laughs) accent or whatever and it's just funny as fuck you gotta look it up sometime (laughs) Yeah, I, I I do I did that sometimes when I spoke Korean, but I I do think it's fun to say to say foreign words in a foreign language, especially if it's their loan words from your own language. It's 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 just a, it's it, there's a little whimsy to it. There's yeah, a little it's, whimsy. it's, it's a like whimsical. it's like if I bust out some Japanese, I'm like Ohio goes I must Dave, you know? <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Uh. I don't know. It's it's very funny to me, but uh, to get back to to Wu Kong, yeah, the cutscenes are like they're okay. Some of the voice acting is weird. I don't know why they have a lot of British people in there. Not all the characters I saw talk were British, but also like the voice. The no, what what's it called? The the lip syncing. Like the 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 dialogue does not really match how the characters' mouths move, which may just be like a thing about like a when you dub a game. Maybe that's just a a way a way where it's weird, but. I don't know. My impression this this seems like a very like like six six seven out of ten action game. If you're into that sort of thing, uh, I don't really think it's super remarkable. But people have had some some intense opinions about it, to say the least. Yeah, I mean that's that's the thing too. It doesn't it doesn't bother me either way. I guess it's like okay, cool. Like I mean, it's annoying to see the this the next triple a flavor of the month like wow so epic so j- drop I, how much does this game cost did you look it is like a full fucking priced triple a game so it's, so like, it's like a 70 70 US. something like that i know yeah. i know let me I'll, I'll, I'll open steam right now because like i have prices in canadian so i think it's like 80 dollars for me which is like way too fucking much <laughs> 
Yeah, I, I just don't think games should cost that much. Like, I'm sorry. I know you guys worked really hard on this. Like, it's a lot. May, but maybe don't. Maybe don't. I mean, there, there's a lot of really cool indie games now that are very affordably priced. And, like, I don't, I don't, just, I don't, I don't know. Like, it's going, it's going off this, you know, Nintendo PlayStation era style pricing guide where it's just like, yeah, I mean, g game. That's that's how it is. Games cost sixty five dollars, and that's yeah. I just what looked it up. Like, it is that's it. That's it. Yeah, this game is eighty Canadian dollars, which I don't know. I think that's about sixty, seventy something. Probably, and probably, probably fifty nine or sixty nine. I don't, I don't know the exchange rate off offhand, but I'm gonna. I mean, w whatever. Either way, um, yeah. So it's it's just the the typical AAA flavor of the month kind of big studio title, whatever. Everybody talks about it for a while. This game will surely be forgotten about in the span of a couple months, which is fine, which is whatever. But there's um, something. To yeah, be I don't said, think it's uh, particularly mar remarkable. Yeah, there's something to be said about games that it feels like the only reason people are talking about this all uh, at all is because of some perceived like controversy, right? Like after right. the after all the the grifters and the right wing like chuddy sort of like uh, anti woke guys were done talking about like gassing up Stellar Blade or whatever, like. I haven't heard anything about that game. Right. I think right. I think they added like a DLC where they added some new outfits and that, you know, that piece of shit Grums on Twitter was like, fuck yeah, hot babes. I want to goon all night to this. And then they added like another outfit that was like slightly more revealing. And he was like, fuck this. The game went woke again or something like that. And it's like, okay, this is this is completely dumb. Same with like the the fucking Harry Potter game. What was it like Hogwarts yeah. Legacy or something? I yeah, don't yeah, see yeah, anybody yeah. talk about that anymore. <laughs> no, I mean that was a while ago, but also it, it th this is on the other end of it. Is you know people were trying to 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 boycott this or talk shit about the game because of J K Rowling's like turf agenda and how she's completely deranged and um like her brain is inundated with black mold but that's whatever like the thing is the game itself is just like it's just whatever it's who like who cares it's a forgettable game all of these people who played it on twitch for two weeks have surely never picked it up ever again it has no lasting value it's just uh it's it's disposable triple a studio bullshit just like most of these games that you hear about ad nauseum for at most two to three months and then never hear about ever again yeah it's like i don't know if you guys listen to us i think it's clear both dave and i are just not really like triple a gamers in general i don't really like i don't really salivate over games it's like wow look it's like the, the hottest like shiny graphics ever i don't really give a shit i think most of these games are like what like 10 20 hour experiences and then it's like you put it down and it's like whatever and if there's more than that it's probably like crawling up the ass with like dlc or, or like uh cosmetics or like microtransaction bullshit whatever i just think i don't know it's like i i think the game itself looks all right uh black myth wukong honestly i think i probably would try it if it was like 10 or 15 bucks on special or something you know sure but uh sure. i don't know for me that that's just that's just the the nature of these games but some people have a very different uh opinion and i thought i would start with reading this very funny tweet which to be fair to everybody involved here i've seen nothing but people dunking on this tweet so i don't know if anybody like takes this seriously but somebody writes uh, i'm not gonna name them somebody on twitter says Black Myth Wukong feels like this generation's Ocarina of Time, and you can't argue with that. Finally, the, quote, adult Dark Souls we've been waiting for all these years. And, like, what the fuck is this person talking about? This, that's just weird in general. Why? This, this is my thing about gamers, and, yeah, I mean, I don't know, like, any media in general is like, why do we have to romanticize stuff so much? Because when I just said the sentence I, I was saying, I was kind of thinking, I was like, well, like, 
maybe I'm just being harsh on gaming and I'm like not taking it seriously. Like maybe that applies to movie. No, that's still cringe. Maybe, but music I care about. No, that's still cringe. It's just, it's just cringe. Just like calm down. Just calm down. We don't need to like aggrandize all of this stuff. Like you're allowed to enjoy things. Sure. Whatever. In, in, to, to be clear, this game looks like it's not for me, but maybe I, I would enjoy it. I don't know. Uh, I'm not going to pay $70 for it. That's that's absolutely off the table, but um, it doesn't bother me in the slightest. Uh, but but do we do we really need to just like put everything on this pedestal of this is like this grand artistic experience and, and it's just like it's so so amazing it's this it's this generation's what ocarina of time and what was the other thing they said uh finally the adult dark souls we've been waiting for all these years as if like was I dark guess, souls for kids no it's like the the game what, what does that even pretty, mean pretty grim and dark like that's the whole thing about dark souls it's like it's like sad like rotting away nights going like oh the world is so shit and you are also a shitty little guy <laughs> maybe you can save our souls or something like that you know yeah. what i mean i mean it's literally in the title dark souls come yeah. on hey yeah. come on it, I mean, yeah come that is what on. it is um yeah. one of my favorite uh, responses to this tweet this person says uh say what you want but i just reached an orlando and baby dark souls and it's like a picture of dark souls but the guy has like a propeller like a, a, a <laughs> little propeller hat and like a little kid's backpack and the ui is like some like spinning like kids toy it's very fucking funny maybe oh we'll put i that love up. that <laughs> yeah yeah that's that's good that's good yeah. I, I need I need my own Coco Melon uh, Dark Souls. I also love the fucking like stacked colorful blocks in the distance. This is a really high quality Photoshop. Okay, you guys can't get this sort of thing with like Grok or like like Mid Journey, whatever. This is this is classic uh, Photoshop shit posting. <laughs> yeah, the the like item wheel or uh, ability wheel or whatever it's supposed to be is one of those. You know those th- those those kids' toys where you like pull the string and it like and it spins around the pointer and it lands on an animal. It's like the cow says. Oh. <laughs> I love I love the the bottom right corner where instead of souls, it's like forty thousand five hundred and twenty nine lollipops. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, yeah. this is this, this is, is good. This is good. See, whenever whenever I think that everybody on the internet is deranged and needs to needs to just be put in a in a room uh to just be deprogrammed then i say you know what sometimes there's some good old-fashioned knee slappers in here and kudos to however whoever made this i love you listen we talk about this very often i think in 99 percent of cases if you tell somebody to get the fuck off of twitter their life is probably going to be better for it but i don't know i think i'm just built different like for me the last couple days my twitter feed has been nothing but people drawing fucking hatsune miku in like different countries outfits or whatever and some of those have been pretty fire so i don't know i think i think i'm just built different or something no i i i actually searched for those today because i wanted to I wanted to see some some funny ones, and that was cool. But I just uh, I think just Twitter, the site itself, is a piece of shit. It's not even just the content. I just every time I see that ugly fucking X logo, and then I try to do something on the site, and it's just like something went wrong. Retry. I'm like, nah, man. This I I can't do this. I can't do this to myself. I it's 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 not. It's not good. Yeah, not I, good. I will say this much. So I have a couple Twitter accounts. I have, like, my main personal account, which is, like, the only one that I actually, like, browse the site on. And then I have, like, the the Super Despair Old account, which, like, sometimes I'll tweet out a new episode. I'm pretty forgetful about it. And then I have another one where I just post my art. And I don't follow anybody except, like, my main on these side accounts. So every time I'll go on to say, like my art account to post like a new drawing or a sketch or some shit for a brief second i will see what the twitter homepage looks like if you are like not following anybody at all and just like the for you tab or whatever and it's like 
we've talked about how how goofy the YouTube front page is when we log into the the Super Despair World YouTube account. The Twitter front page is even fucking worse because like if you're not following anybody, it's like, hey, check out this uh, libs of TikTok tweet. Oh, let's check out this end wokeness tweet. It's like, ah, oh, it's just total dog shit. It's it's the worst. Yeah, but what clears both of them? I mean, that's like actually really problematic that that's just front page content, but. Um, What clears both of them is I made a Facebook account after being off Facebook for close to a decade uh, just for Marketplace. And there's uh, a a group that I have to be in for something that I'm doing. Uh, I I don't use Facebook other than for these purposes. But um, (laughs) have you ever seen those um, those those Facebook posts where it's like, I am hot girl from UK. I need a boyfriend. And oh, it's like yes, a clearly, yes, yes. <laughs> it's clearly like an AI image. And it's like a woman standing in front of a car. And like all the text is garbled. And she has like seven fingers. Um, and, and, and like there are so many of them. Because I don't follow anybody. And I didn't even accept anybody's friend requests or anybody after they saw unfortunately i use my real name but um but like the, the the replies in these it's so sad man it's so sad it's just a bunch of dudes like yes i will be your boyfriend you're you are so beautiful dm me today oh god like, and here's the thing like, right like half oh, of those man. replies are gonna be just other bots or like sincerely right, like right. confused like geriatric people on facebook yeah it's just so sad it's so sad i mean we've we've talked about the whole ai thing ad nauseum but it's it's truly concerning i think we are at a concerning looking like into a, this <laughs> looking into this yeah yeah as as he does the thing that is the most concerning but like it, i i really do think we're at a breaking point where it's like something really needs to happen with this before it just turns into complete complete mayhem but although we're we're definitely yeah. going to do a proper full-length check-in on that whole uh situation before the end yeah of the it's year, been a but, while uh, it's been a while yeah we, facebook yeah. is just like the kind of website where like if you hold up like a like a gear counter to this sort of thing it is gonna just like go fucking like berserk right <laughs> yeah it's just gonna be a it's not even gonna make the little the little chirping noise it's just gonna be a constant tone like that it's gonna, that place it's gonna sound like you just cooked. it's gonna sound like you just took grandma off of life support <laughs> yeah yeah for sure it's 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 not it's not good it's not it's it's really not good this yeah. is the this Matt, is the Matt. the last little distraction i'll bring up before we get back into to today to date today's topic i can't even speak i just <laughs> i just tab back from my my art account to my main account and i see my probably my favorite miku yet this is canadian miku and it's just like fucking can't afford a house and just a shitty photoshop with a t-shirt and tim horton's cup on top of her oh that's pretty good that's pretty good yeah that's, it, that's kind it, of better it, than all of them. you know it, it really, says a lot about society yeah i really it really do be like that um I don't know. I've seen a few Romanian ones that I quite liked, but uh, you know that's enough. Let's get back into it today. We're <laughs> gotta gotta stay on focus, guys. Uh, yes, Black Myth yeah. Wukong. So yeah, this this guy writes. Uh, oh, the the Ocarina of Time of our generation, the Adult Dark Souls, which is just like. I don't know. This feels very much like a like a, a very like fake like Chat GPT say something nice about Black Wukong, uh, Black Myth Wukong or whatever. Um, but I've been looking into it, and like we said, this game has been like propped up by like these anti woke guys. It's like this will this will show the wokies. This will this game will own the libs, and like from what I've seen of like the gameplay itself, I don't really see anything all that like chuddy or like conservative or whatever. It just looks like a kind of middling action game based on this like Chinese folklore or whatever. But um, there's been like a whole a whole situation surrounding the game in its release, and I thought maybe we can like get into that a little bit. Yeah, so I I have really had a hard time trying to find where this narrative of like this game is anti woke came from. Um, it's it like you can find tons of dogs barking about this, and they seem to reference like some very obscure like. PC gamer op-ed type of 
like articles. I guess there was one which I I searched through PC Gamer and I couldn't even find it. I don't know if it got deleted or if this wasn't even real to begin with or whatever. And it was like some dude complaining because like the game wasn't like didn't have enough DEI because there wasn't like it wasn't inclusive enough. But I. I, I don't really I didn't really get it like there was no female characters or something like that well um, that's just straight up wrong because I did watch a little bit of gameplay and there's a boss that looks like um oh fuck I'm gonna sound like culturally insensitive it looked like a like a shrine maiden like uh Chinese like goddess sort of lady with like the, yeah. the bright makeup or whatever like I guess uh-huh. you fight her as a boss or something so there's mm. at least one woman in the game confirmed uh, I can say that much <laughs> Oh well, see, uh, it's 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 woke, I guess. But I don't even know. Th- that's the thing is, I looked through some of these some of these threads about it, like on on Twitter and like uh, elsewhere, and in the comments of these, like absolute, like if you search on YouTube, like Wukong woke or something, it's like the corniest dudes on the planet. Um, whose content is like really, really, really bad. And and I mean, it makes sense that they're doing this because you can be functionally illiterate and be really bad at writing scripts and definitely be bad at narrating because ho- holy shit, man, these guys are really hard to listen to. And this, this in is a bunch of very, uh, yeah, this d- is different, this is, unique ways. Yeah. yeah, this is something I say a lot where like, I don't, I don't want to shame anybody if you listen to some like, like video essays or whatever that I don't really care for on YouTube but like i really feel like 90 percent of like essays like pre-written content on youtube is written at a level that would like get a like a c plus in like a ninth grade english class you know what i mean without question without question i would fail these people if they gave that to me um especially like this is supposed to be you're you're positing yourself as like is like a professional i mean I, i don't even think these guys would call themselves journalists but you know they 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 take themselves somewhat seriously, and and sadly, some of these accounts have like like one, two, three hundred thousand subscribers, and man, they're just bad at this. Like they're bad at this, but in in there's not even there's not even like a real narrative here. It's just saying buzzwords about the, just repeating the word woke over and over just to get the dogs barking and howling, and and that's a thing is like. I couldn't even really tell what they were talking about. It was just like, ha, take that, wokies. Ha, nah, this game's doing doing numbers, even though the soy boys at IGN and PC Gamer said it was bad because it's not woke enough. But guess what? Y- all of these games magazines are going to be gone in f- in 5 years because you guys are woke and uh, the tides are turning and it's it, and the funny thing is they've been saying this for like the past 10 years of just like I give IGN 1 year until it goes under because all because these guys didn't like this fucking shit game that I'm obsessed with <laughs> and yeah, then it's, like 15 it's, it's like... years later all these fucking garbage <laughs> These garbage games review sites are still there. Yeah, it's like you listen to the way these people talk and like there's like this obsession with like like a big bombastic like somebody getting somebody winning and somebody being defeated. Like, oh, oh this yeah. game is gonna do big numbers and it's gonna change the industry and it's all gonna be a uh, game over for the DEI people now. And it's like um you linked me a, a video from one of these like fucking losers like before we started recording oh, yeah, i watched yeah, yeah, like yeah. two minutes of it and one the guy cannot speak at all he was like oh this game doesn't have diversity equity or inclusion that's sound to my ears like sound to my ears what the fuck does In that just mean? the manner of speaking i i i say this about about just like a lot of video essays in general it's like you think you're talking like a radio announcer but you're not you're better off just using your normal speaking voice or maybe that's not actually true but like stop trying to do this thing where you try to modulate your voice like you sound like a really bad ai um just i i don't know man get a vocal coach or something I, i i really don't know what to tell you but this is very jarring to listen to and um, it would be fine, and I wouldn't make fun of somebody like this if 
Also, their content wasn't the worst shit that I've ever listened to in my life, man. Yeah, Come on, guys, fuck guys, off. get a vocal, get a vocal coach, do some <laughs> voice training, uh, get some thigh highs and like knee socks, uh, learn how yeah, to do yeah. makeup. You'll you'll feel better. Trust me. <laughs> yeah, get the get the programmer socks and mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. get the super despair world energy drink. <laughs> yeah, uh, it don't don't look at the ingredients. Just drink up. It's delicious. It's good for you. <laughs> yeah, it's FDA approved. Uh, the, the the f- <laughs> I was just- <laughs> never mind. Never mind. Never, never mind. mind. All yeah. right. Um. So like, I I tried to look into some stuff about this game to like get to the bottom of the of the story, and um, yeah, I don't know. It's it's kind of hard to piece together a little narrative here, but I'm gonna do my best. Um. So from what I what I can tell, uh, the so this game has been in development for about four years. I think it started development around like 2020 or so. Uh, the the game studio that made it, uh, Game Science, I believe they're called. Uh, they're like a studio out of China. They were founded by like a couple former Tencent employees. If you guys don't know, Tencent is like the big fucking like video game entertainment like conglomerate in China. They're a massive fucking company. Um, these guys uh, started up to work on this game. I think before. Black Myth Wukong, they mostly made like little mobile games or something like that. Um, and so I found a couple things. Uh, apparently, one of the developers of this game had like some weird comments on social media like many years ago before this game started development. Uh, if I can find some examples of this, give me one second. Yeah, so uh, one of the one of the, the developers, he's he's kind of known in like the Chinese game industry for like often like putting out his opinion about like game dev and the business and all that stuff on social media. I found a thing. He he wrote an article in two thousand seven about who murdered our game, and it was like he was talking about like failed game development projects, and he had this analogy of like talking about failed project as stillborn babies. He says something like, is it because the, st- the sperm wasn't virile enough? Is the pregnancy too short? Is the baby lacking nutrition? Are the doctors in charge of a C-section lowly skilled? Why can't we produce a healthy child, uh, like a game? And it's like, okay, to me, this reads as like a very like bizarre analogy. But if you just like take it on good faith or whatever, it's like, okay, I, I can see like where the metaphor is here. Of, I like, mean, was, it, was this... Was this translated from Chinese? Uh, almost certainly, yeah. Oh, okay. Like, I, I can't really speak to that just because maybe that's a more normal thing to say in, in Chinese. Uh, any, of our, any of our millions of Chinese listeners, feel free to opine on this point. But again, like, w- with with what I said about the, the Ocarina of Time thing, it's just like, like sure, do, I, I fully agree that games are are an art form and and yeah if this is your life like you should take this seriously but like dial it back like two to three notches like this is not this is not life or death like we don't need to talk about whatever game you made it's like an analogy of like a stillborn baby that's it's it's a bit much man it's a little weird like maybe chill on that just let just just take two steps back calm down take yeah, a deep breath there's uh there's there's some other yeah. examples yeah, so yeah like yes. there's all some, right all right go on there's go some on. other stuff he wrote on social media like however many years ago he says in, like i don't have the full context for these but he says something like i want to expand my circle and hire more people get licked until i can't get an erection uh and then several lines down he also says I know you just happen to be a little depressed. It is my honor to provide you with a, with some comfort in the lower half of your body. Uh, I get wet after watching it a couple of times. The pressure in my crotch is immense. And like, okay, this is weird, but like, it, again, I'm trying to I'm trying to be as good faith as possible. It's like, okay, maybe this is this is just somebody talking Chinese and being like a little crass, a little vulgar, but they're just like, oh, this game really like. Like I don't know it's like a, a blowjob or something. It's that good, or I don't know. The, this like, is <laughs> these are like the uh, the replies in the aforementioned uh, Facebook, like. I am USA. I need boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> it is like that. Like let let's uh, let's be fair. This is like translated from Chinese to English, so yes, I'm sure absolutely. it sounds. I'm sure it sounds more natural and less weird in the context. And like if you speak, yeah, yeah. You I know. I mean when I when I creepy post in Korean on um 
on on girls cacao talk photos it's probably not very natural i need to i need to step up my my games yeah you need to work on that dave (laughs) you need to you need to make some progress on that skill tree invest some points into that (laughs) i am feeling heat in my bottom parts yes (laughs) this is like when you when you're doing like a mission in yakuza or something and you pick the wrong dialogue option and some wacky bullshit (laughs) happens (laughs) yeah yeah it's disco elysium yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, you didn't put enough didn't put enough points in your in your speech tree. Yeah, there there are some other things. So, um, have you seen the recruitment posters of uh, uh the game studio that made this game? They, it's like, no, this not is, at all. Not this at is all. what they put out when they're hiring new people. And um, I guess we can like put put this on screen because I feel like me describing it does not really do some justice. So we'll we'll put it, put it up on the YouTube video if you're watching on youtube uh so these are four notorious recruitment posters for the game studio and this is weird as fuck okay all right let me pin these so i remember to actually put it up here for for our lovely viewers out there okay wait wait what the fuck all right so let's let's talk let's go through these one at a time the first one is like a picture of like i'm just going to say a naked chinese man because i don't want to assume this this character is younger than that it's like a naked chinese guy like with his dick in his hand (laughs) but in place of his dick there's like a like a red bull or something and it's the it's like it has some like chinese characters and it's it's translated to must crunching so i guess like if you work for us you have to put in a lot of excessive hours to crunch on the game uh, it's like this is fucking weird okay yeah so, so, but they, they, this is the image that comes to mind when they talk about like crunch time is fucking a red bull can oh, wait is he fucking a red bull can or is his dick a red bull can i think he's like he's like he's stroking his dick but like the red bull can is like a, a censored thing have you ever seen the thing where people will like post a bit of a bit of porn but instead of the dick they have like a like an ice cream sundae or something it's like yeah, mm, ice yeah, cream's yeah. so good I, I i i like those i like those it leaves a lot to the imagination yeah and then there's another another ad it's like don't fuck with colleagues and it's just like a, a lower half of i guess like a, a slim i don't know a woman's body and in place of the butt there's like two kiwis or something i don't really understand what they're going for i don't know what this says I, about the game studio i uh i haven't had a kiwi in a while that looks kind of delicious actually it's not because of the butt but i've i've been thinking about kiwi you ever have a golden kiwi oh those are really good i actually like they're them really more good. than the, the regular kiwis they're really good they're really good yeah i mean i guess don't sexually harass colleagues but i i have a hard time thinking that number one that anybody works there would like would even think about doing that and number two that there are any women who work in this studio anyways but i'm making a lot of i'm making a lot of assumptions here i mean i don't i don't know what happens yeah there's there's another one which In the bottom left here, I don't know if this is supposed to be, I guess it's a pair of titties. Maybe it's someone's nuts. I'm going to say it's a pair of titties covered by, like, some training weights. And it says, overweight, fuck off. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) the interesting interesting thing is I actually own the exact weights that are in that photo. And by I, I mean my sister, so... So I have access to them. They're they're pretty they're pretty nice. So it's, it's a good little. Bu- I, I know this is very important to the to the discussion <laughs> at hand. But, no, I mean I'm but, just sharing these because I don't know what the fuck any of this has to do with game. I, I don't I don't get this either. <laughs> but but then I I like I don't um I can't read simplified Chinese characters or most Chinese uh, in general. But um. I'm assuming these are things that you like skills you need to have because it's C plus plus something and Coco's two D. Yeah, I assume they're. I assume this, this is probably this like is an ad for of, like hiring a like a, a, a yeah. Do you have these something. skills? Right, right, right. Because then the next one, which <laughs> I'll let you introduce, also has these. Yeah, so this uh, one is like a. This is like a a naked body that's like it, it has I don't know like a hand holding a controller and there's like a mouse with a bunch of like messy tangled cables over the crotch area. I think it's like a it looks like a feminine sort of body to me and it just says masturbation by force. And again, I don't know what the fuck they're they're implying by this. I I this one I don't understand at all. Um 
So, so the last one, overweight, fuck off. Maybe they mean like don't make like sloppy, like make clean code. Like don't don't make like sloppy bloated code or like optimize your shit. But like Maybe? this one, I don't I don't get. It's it's probably easier if we like actually speak Chinese and we know the, like the nuance of these um, of these terms. But masturbation by force. But then also the picture it looks like the mouse because the mouse is pink so i think it's supposed to be like a vibrator uh, yeah i um, guess it's implied like like a, like a sex yeah. toy or something i don't know but it's like a, I, I, yeah i can't i can't i can't really i, I maybe can't maybe really, the yeah. hand holding the controller is like someone else's hand i don't know that might make sense the no i think whatever. i i think so but but what what do they mean masturbation? Like for the player, for the for the for the developer? Like I mean, I again below I that know. particular one, it says C plus plus Coco's. Yeah, it's 2D, the same. So it's the same. Probably yeah, the, it's same the same role. requirements. So so it has something to do with like your coding skills or your um yeah your development skills. I, I don't guess, know. It's but. It's very bizarre. When I see the overweight fuck off one, I just I just take that literally. I assume they're like, if you are like a fat person, do not apply to work at our studio, something like that, maybe. Which like, I mean, if it's a game studio, like, come on, come on, you 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 want developers? And you're you are going to discriminate against like overweight yes. gamers. That's like one of the largest like percentages exactly. of gamers. Exactly. Right? Come on, don't you want them to know your to know their audience at the, at the very least like get, get out of here i don't get know get out there's, of here you're crazy there was another thing i saw that was weird about this studio um and i'm just gonna read this this is from a reddit post i saw so the lead artist uh chi yang uh i think i'm probably pronouncing that horribly but whatever the lead artist for this game posted a paragraph filled with sexism and stereotypes on social media uh this person writes yeah. uh the purposes of games for men and women are entirely distinct and determined by biological conditions. Male players enjoy wielding firearms to take lives, while female players seem to focus solely on invoking jealousy in their girlfriends through the acquisition of designer <laughs> bags. He also says... Uh, Fuck sissies, fuck love story, we don't need the effect of female gamers, nor do we need male gamers who come to play games for female gamers. We make games for masculine men. For me Our lives are full of depression and anger. <laughs> It's like, okay, dude, calm Holy down. Holy shit, man. I'm Tell sure... me you have never seen a vagina outside of Pornhub. Well, whatever the the equivalent is. I'm sure um, your particular life is full of depression and anger. You don't need to sell me on that. Seriously, but... <laughs> man. Like, holy shit. This, this is like the solipsism of these, these types of people. Is they really think, like, I'm the first person to ever speak out about this. Like... I'm just like a lonely, angry incel who just looks at all these other normies who are just, they're out there doing things like, what, fucking talking to people, fucking hanging out with their friends, going on dates, fucking loot, you're all full of shit. Um, please, Everybody please be, knows. Please be sensitive, Dave. Uh, we prefer to say people of norms, not normies. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. <laughs> Yeah, these PON <laughs> <laughs> these goddamn PONs. Um yeah, yeah, but but <laughs> then they just say shit like that and it's like, "Oh man, like you really told on yourself. Like you really told on yourself." And then the people who like rush to these guys comment section, they're just like, "Yeah, now somebody's speaking my language." And it's just and then there's just a hive of like the the saddest people on the planet it's like no no you guys don't need to get together to like slap each other on the back and and just say like yeah you're so right you need to go talk to therapists you need to go like you need to go like smell the outdoors instead of your the piss jug that's next to you on your gamer chair like you need that you really need that like i i, I say that sincerely i wish the best for these people um some of them, I mean, the the ringleader for them, just 
I don't, I don't know if there's any hope. So I, I I've know. heard I heard there was a little bit of context on some of these comments where supposedly, and I'm I'm gonna I don't have an exact quote, but I'm gonna try to be good faith. I'm gonna try to like present these in as like non biased a way as possible. Uh, supposedly, this developer was saying something about how like um. I don't know how familiar you are with, like, Chinese, like, daytime television or whatever, but they were saying something about how, like, a lot of men in, like, Chinese or even, like, Korean television, they kind of uh, portray in a way that, like, really appeals to women. Like, I don't know if you've ever seen these, like, uh, like period pieces, like, set in, like, the 1600s in, like, China or oh, something yeah, like that. Yeah. And you have the guys wearing, like, the long, colorful robes and they have long hair or something like that. Uh, they look very, like, kind of effeminate or, or something to that effect. Uh, if there are any weebs in the audience, it's, like, a very, like, Bishonen type of a male presentation. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with that. It is, I think, you know, more popular with like a like a women sort of audience, uh, whatever. But uh, this this guy, like, you could interpret him as saying like, okay, this is a very common portrayal of like Chinese men in in popular media, and we want to do something different than that. But like, that would be like the good faith interpretation uh, if we wanted to, you know, be 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 charitable here. But at the same time, it's like they take it farther and they're like, no, the media is like persecuting us for wanting to display normal masculine masculinity or whatever. And it's like, no, no, they're not. Just fucking do your thing. Don't be fucking weird about it. Nobody like nobody is out here writing articles about like Ugh, the call the new Call of Duty game is just not not feminine enough. What why are all these games about like war and shooting terrorists so so like masculine or whatever? Just like just make the fucking game. Don't don't sit here and do this like fake like oh I'm being persecuted for my very normal fucking like uh thing i want to do you know what i mean well well, and and here's the thing too this is the uh, this is the the peak irony about this situation is like are there people who are like oh this game is problematic because there's not enough like trans women of color in wheelchairs in it like maybe yeah i'm gonna say sure but you know what like the internet is fucking big you can find somebody saying any opinion exactly exactly but the thing is there they are the same as these people just on a different spectrum and in their and in their fucking insanity insane minds they're they're saying like oh i i can't we can't play this game because it's because it doesn't have enough women protagonists and all this shit and it's like no dude like no nobody nobody saying that you just like you're you're imagining this you're you're imagining you you made up like an enemy in your mind you imagined this and now you're i i mean like no nobody is is a bigger enemy to these people than their own imaginations and they create like the the most nefarious person in their minds and says like the the these people on twitter they said like if there's not like a diverse like dei cast in video games we should ban it from the internet and like shoot everybody who who thinks it's bad and it's like dude nobody's saying this and if they are they they belong in like in like they belong as like a ward of the state like they're not okay mentally like they need help it's like and, a it's yeah. just like a purely like contrarian sort of position. There's no yes. like underlying yeah. like beliefs or like ideology here. It's just like this person I don't like said something. So I'm going to I'm going to take the extreme opposite position. Um there's a well, I have a good example well, re- of this. Really but, uh, really qu- really quick. I I just wanted to say that like this is one thing that I noticed when I was looking through all these posts just trying to find what the fuck was a- what the fuck they actually were mad about with right. this game or or who what they thought other people were mad about with this game but like it it really se- like these people really think that like they're just like these these crusaders and these freedom fighters who are just like they're they're just protecting the world from this nefarious actor of like wokeness and they and these are the people who say woke every other word and it to the point where it just like 
it, it has like just it, semantically it just loses all meaning because you just hear it over and over and uh, over. Woke, DEI, uh, inclusivity, games, words. journalists, whatever. And at this point, I don't even think they know what it's, but like they really think that they're like, they're, they're just these like powerful Re- rebellious like rebellion fighters that are just like saving the world from these people and it's like dude it's a fucking video game and you're on the steam comment forums not like, only that rally- but like yeah when, when somebody replies in a comment like just like lightly disagreeing with them it's not just like somebody disagreeing it's like oh this is this is the the powers that be working tirelessly yeah. to uphold capitalized the narrative or something it's like no guys nobody gives a shit about this as much right. as you do you know right and in like in not to not to be an asshole for anybody with like a schizoaffective disorder but like this sounds to me like it's like, like some actual like paranoid schizophrenic shit like you you really just think like anytime somebody disagrees with you on a forum when you're like rallying about like fucking um like the Wukong game it's just like some paid actor from 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 like IGN who's there to just like silence your dissenting voice like dude this is not this is not 1984 this is not V for Vendetta this is you like having a temper tantrum and shitting in your diaper about a stupid fucking video game that's going to be forgotten about in 2 months like grow up man grow up touch grass go talk to a human being please do do a service to yourself or, yeah, or I'm, talk to a fucking therapist man I don't i'm know. not gonna get all all psychological and diagnose anybody here but it is absolutely like a, a delusion about like the the state of the world and, and and other people and how you interact with them uh there was an example i wanted to give about how a lot of this is just like completely like empty like hollow contrarianism here uh dave are you familiar with the the monster hunter franchise i am i am i played uh one of the games uh for a li- for a little bit it was fun yeah so there's like a there's a new one coming out and if you're at all familiar with the the monster hunter franchise there's a there's a thing that uh Personally, this is something I haven't really liked about the series for a long time, where, uh, so like Monster Hunter, you go out into the world, you fight big monsters or whatever, it's like an action game, you get monster parts, you make cool new weapons and armor, whatever. It's a, it's a Cap- Capcom, right? Yeah, I think I think so. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and, and the thing is, like, okay, it, you can, like, create your own character, and one of the things that's always bothered me a little bit about the franchise is... Uh, there's like a really big difference between like how the armor looks on male versus female characters Mm -hmm. where like if you're playing a male character you make some cool like I don't know dragon bone armor or something like that it's just like cool bulky like fantasy armor or whatever but if you make the same thing on like a female character it's like the whole like chainmail bikini style of like fantasy armor whatever and I've always thought that's kind of tacky but um Apparently the new the new Monster Hunter game coming out they they've they've showed off a new feature where like rather than like gender locking the two armor sets it's like now everybody can wear both versions so like there's a there's a fully covered and more like exposed uh like uncovered version of each armor set and you can just wear either of them whether you're a male or female character and I'm, apparently I'm like okay Awesome. And apparently, you know, this is something that that uh, fans of the series have been asking for for a very long time. So cool. Everybody's happy. It's like, if you liked uh, the old style of armor, you can still do that. No, no big deal, whatever. But um, some people have been like, really just like, complaining about this for like no fucking reason it's like oh this is like dei woke shit gone wrong now there's gonna be men in dresses and like women not in lingerie or whatever and it's like who actually cares about this you guys are like for all the accusations of other people being tourists or whatever it's like no you have to be a tourist to not know that this is something fans of the franchise have been asking for for a very long time literally everybody is happy about this (laughs) Also, who gives a fuck, dude? Who gives a fuck? Like, find, like, find something to care about. Really, that's not that. That's that's so weird, man. That's so weird. Like, I don't, I don't know if it's just like a manifestation of something else that they're. Again, not to get too like psychological about it, but like a manifestation of something else that they're like 
angry or anxious about that they have to get like pissed about or just like they don't really have anything to worry about these are just like basement dwelling needs and they have to like invent some kind of problem in their mind to get like upset about and to rally about like either way it's just it's just like dude like monster hunter ain't it it ain't it ain't it homie like just just like, yeah, please I don't like, know. anything it's... else Anything like, else? I don't know. I, I often have this feeling when I'm just, like, browsing social media. And, like, I get this a lot with, like, different fandoms or something about that. Uh, both in terms of people who, like, really like a thing or really hate a thing. But, like, in a like a weird anti-fandom sort of way. Where I just often feel like, man, some people care more about some, like, fucking video game franchise than I care about, like, anything in my entire exactly. life. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And it makes me Which feel like, crazy. am I, am I in the wrong? Like, am I weird for not reacting this way to like fucking like, random pieces of media? I don't know. Dude. Yeah. I, I mean, the, and, and that's the thing that I think that separates us is like, I almost in a very, in a very narrow way, I kind of almost envy them in the sense of just like, man, I have never cared about anything in my life. As much as you care about, like, the Undertale fandom. <laughs> and that's, like, that's maybe that's an indictment on both of us of just, like, it, you need to care like, about that a whole lot less than I need to care about other I'm things I'm just, a like, I sit more, here but... trying to comprehend the kind of joy that, like, Barry63 from the UK must feel when he genuinely thinks there are hot women in his area who are, like, eager to <laughs> shag him or whatever, you know? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, for for sure, for sure. Like, oh man, I, oh, I don't, I don't really, I don't really know. I mean, like, um, yeah, I, I have a, I have one more thing about Black Myth yes. Wukong. I think this will, yes, this will, yes. this, this brings us back to the present because all the stuff I mentioned before, all uh, right. you know, Bring the the, the the one developer's comments. Some of those go back to like 2007. Like if you were to ask me, I don't think any of that is necessarily like a a smoking gun. Like this person is 100 percent a bad person. I do think a lot of it is kind of weird. I think the recruitment ads for the the game studio are pretty weird. I think the comments about the lead artists about like biological differences for like men and women in the games they like i think that is pretty fucking bad i think that's pretty blatant but um let's go let's go back to the present now um so the game just recently came out and as you know like whenever a big game comes out now they'll do like they'll send out like review copies to like big youtubers to like play it a few days early get their thoughts out make content about it um, so when they sent out those early review codes, they included some guidelines on like how to make content about it. Again, this is not mm. weird. This is just like what game studios do. Maybe they'll be like, okay, you can play this game early, but don't record anything past this one point in the story. Like the la- don't post the ending early. It's, you know, reasonable stuff like that. Right, right, right. So they included a, a list of, of guidelines and rules for what to do for people who got an early copy of this game. And I'm going to just share this with you, Dave, and I guess you can maybe share your thoughts on this. Maybe just like, let's read this out. (laughs) All right. So do's and don'ts. Yeah. So it's a do's and don'ts. Do's. Enjoy the game. Oh, wow. Okay. That's wholesome. Hey, neat. Okay. I'd I'd like to do that. (laughs) Yeah. That's uh, cool. That's the only one in the do's category. All right. Don'ts. Mm -hmm. Do not insult other influencer players. Other influencers or players. Okay, all right, that's reasonable. Fair. Reason, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. okay. Do not use any offensive language slash humor. I, I mean that that's a I bit mean, like, open to interpretation. Like, but okay. yeah, okay. If, if you're like, okay, a, if yeah. you're like a YouTuber doing this, you're basically doing like yeah. a, a a marketing PR job. Sure, I think that's you're. Fine. Yeah, you're probably not. You're probably not doing that. Anyways, mm-hmm. all right. Number three. Do not include politics, violence, nudity, feminist propaganda, fetishization and other content that instigates negative discourse okay that's this is that's weird (laughs) that's fucking number one incredibly vague and also like politics is um this is a catch-all that people use to like talk about like women or like gay people or like just pretty much anybody who isn't like the the standard um <laughs> I want to talk like, about like dominant dominant demographic in whatever yeah. country you're you're in. I want to yeah. talk about the the second point violence 
violence. This is this is a game. It's a you, game about fighting. What are you talking you're, about? You're a monkey man who beats up monsters with a big stick. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Feminist propaganda, which probably means like, oh, there's no female characters in this game, which like apparently there is. Or, or even if there isn't, like I don't care, but Keep an you know, eye out whatever, for characters yeah. doing the gesture with their their index finger and thumb. <laughs> Keep an yeah. eye out for that. Fetishization. I mean, uh, Wukong probably does have bare feet, so that's fair. I that's feel fair. like I don't know. Are I don't, are there furries out there who are into like monkey people, or is that like a little too problematic? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to reach out to our like. I guess Wukong <laughs> Wukong is basically like a like a furry anthro character, sort of. Yeah. Yeah, we'll we'll have to reach out to our furry correspondents for for <laughs> for confirmation. On yeah, we'll report back but, on that. <laughs> but I do like other content that instigates negative discourse, meaning just like anything we don't like. Um, yeah, that's time. like a pretty. Yeah. That's a very broad umbrella they're casting there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we already see that it's going in, and just like if if the vibes are off for us um we're not into it so the fourth uh bullet point is do not use trigger words such as quarantine or isolation or covid19 who's who's playing woo the wukong game just being like yo this reminds me of quarantine and covid19 got these fucking goddamn chinese so i i think so like this is a a game made by like a chinese studio so i think uh I don't know, maybe there's a lot of controversy over there. Like, I know they, they were a lot harsher in their, like, crackdown or whatever of the, the, yeah. the lockdown. Yeah. Uh, and I guess, I don't know, maybe it's just like a... a maybe it's just a word that, that gets, like, auto-filtered or something on Chinese social media, I think. Yeah, yeah. That, Actually, now that, that now that yeah. we said the word, I feel like there's a 50-50 chance we're going to get that little pop-up under our YouTube video, like, more info about COVID-19. Don't don't believe misinformation, blah, blah, blah. Whatever. Yes. I think there's still COVID-19. 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 Oh, God damn it, Dave. I was going to I was gonna be like, <laughs> hey, do you want... I was going to be like, hey, do you want to bet if we'll get that message or not? But now you're just, like, you're just, now like, putting are. your now thumb I wanna, on the I scales. Now I want to know. I want to know if we're talking about quarantine and isolation, COVID nineteen, and Wuhan, China. But uh, the, <laughs> the last it. one, the la- the last okay, one. Okay, go ahead. The last one says, "Do not discuss." Uh, discuss is spelled wrong. Discuss like the Roman frisbee. Do not, di- <laughs> yes, do not discuss content related to China's game industry policies, opinions, news, etc. It's like, all right, dude, this is. Uh, yeah, I, I feel like I just got brought into the room and in, in the USSR, and it's just like, hey, you you're going to be on TV. Um, you cannot say any of these three thousand words, and um, you have to read off the script. Yeah, Welcome. It's <laughs> it's yeah, very it, bizarre. So, as far as like a narrative for this whole thing goes, to my understanding, like the timeline of things, this game just like came out or like it was about to come out. And a lot of people got this, like, this list that we just went over. And then people were like, hey, that's fucking weird. And then people, like, dug in deeper and uncovered all the the previous things we talked about earlier in this episode. So now I think a lot of people are seeing this game. And, again, from what I've seen, like, of the game itself and the cutscenes and gameplay and everything, I don't really see anything, like, that problematic or chuddy in the game itself. I'm I'm sure the game is fine. It's just, uh... When I see stuff like this, it's like, nah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not into that. Yeah, I'm it's, really it, not. it's not like you, you get past the main menu and then Sun Wukong just immediately like slaps a bitch, like to make him a sandwich or something like that. Okay. Sure. I don't think that's in the game, <laughs> you know? Sure. And, and, and this is not like, to be clear, like the devs and the art directors and like stuff like that and like the people who just worked on that like hats off to you man i'm I'm sure it's a nice game i'm sure it's fun to play if you're into that type of stuff i don't really care um this shit is fucking weird like this list is weird the people who who are making this their their bulwark of like anti-wokeness are fucking weird um the people who are if they exist, which I haven't actually seen any any uh, evidence of this, like the people who say like this game is problematic because there's not enough like like women of color in it, that's fucking weird. It's just like, can we can we not 
do this with every game that comes out every year of just like ma- making this some like so, some like anti wokeness or like this is woke so now I'm now I'm like pissed about it and this is going to keep my keep my twitter feed going for for a long time like yeah like like it's, it's, grums it's just- grums go outside I, I I promise you, man. Go get some ice cream. Go like sniff a flower. Just just do anything, man. Like this this game's not gonna hurt you. Like it's it's okay. Grums, it's okay. the, the next time the do. the next time you're gooning to 3D video game women, I heard I heard you can come really hard if you just like asphyxiate yourself a little bit. Look into it. Try it out. I'm sure you'll have a great time. Uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, just, just a little bit. Get a spotter. Get a spotter. Yeah, well, or don't. No, you're a grown man. I trust you. You can figure it out. You're a big guy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> all right, but let's yeah. let let's let's bring it. So like, normally I look at like the weird comments made by developers like that, and I'm like, okay, people say like, oh, separate art from the artist. Normally I think, okay, if you're a developer and you have like weird fucking opinions like the guys we just read, I think some of that is like inevitably gonna leak into the game itself but here in in this situation again i'm being like giga charitable here okay i feel like in spite of the weirdness of a lot of the developers i don't think any of that has leaked into the game itself to my knowledge it looks just like a perfectly fine big shiny triple a action game i don't think you're like a good or bad person necessarily whatever if you want to play it i think go ahead it's your money and do what you want i don't think it's a, a big deal but it, it, we're in this weird situation where, like, simultaneously, you have people who are, like, the the big stands for this game who are, like, uh, no, there's nothing weird. No, none of the, the weird comments from the developers affected the game at all. But then simultaneously, like, I think the only reason people are, like, stoking so much fire about this game is because, like, yeah, the devs are anti-woke and they do actually think they, they fuck the women, whatever. We want to support that. And it's like, okay... It's just like a weird like cognitive dissonance sort of thing and people are looking at the numbers like I know this game has done like it has sold a lot of copies. I think it was something like 8 10 million copies or whatever that were in like China specifically which like okay China is a fucking massive country. It has a yeah. fucking huge population and this is like a big hyped like this is like China's big triple A game. I would expect it to do big numbers like uh even even before the the fucking Harry Potter game came out, you know, I think Harry Potter is lame as shit, but it's also a big franchise, so I think everybody was kind of expecting that game to yeah, do big for numbers sure. regardless. Yeah, for sure. But for now sure. people are like holding up those big numbers and it's like, look, this is evidence that tens of millions of people are ready to stand against the the woke DEI menace and it's like I think you guys just live in your bubble. I don't think I don't think this really says anything. I think this is just like a a perfectly mid AAA game made by some slightly weird developers that just happen to do big numbers for any number of reasons. I don't know. Right. I just in, think in this whole that, thing is a big nothing burger. <laughs> it, 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 exactly. Exactly. And at the end of the day, 99% of these people buying or playing this game, they're not even involved in any of this discourse. It's just like, this is big game. Everybody playing now. I am gamer. I buy big game, new game, I'm sure game. everybody yeah. in China is just like, oh, this is like a Sun Wukong game. I love Journey to the West. I'll check it out. You know, <laughs> I I don't even think I don't even think it's like that. I I think it's just like this is the end of summer triple A blockbuster game. Just just like movies where they're just like, oh, this is the new Marvel movie. Well, I watched this. Um, yeah. w- whether they care about it or not, it's just it's just like no. Uh, okay, consume. Co- okay, get this. This is it's what like, I am a it's gamer. Like if you're a, I, yeah. If you're a uh, gamer yeah. in China, like what else have you got to look forward to? Like a new Genshin Impact patch? It, okay, right. whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A, a new shitty phone game that's going to drain your entire <laughs> that's going to drain your entire paycheck. No, it's it's it, it's a, it's the exact same thing. They're just going to be like, "Okay, cool. Like, yeah, got got but got the game playing if anything, the game." If yeah. anything, with how big mobile games are over in China, I'm sure I don't know how much the game costs in like Chinese currency, but I'm sure like a, a just like a big AAA single player game is probably worth it for a lot of them if they're more used to like mobile games being the main thing in the industry. Sure. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's in just a, a big way. part of it. It's just like wait, you only pay 
seventy dollars once instead of like three times a week yeah maybe that's, that's oh, a novelty shit. over there i don't wow. know <laughs> cool. yeah I, I don't know either um but yeah i mean um i don't know yeah I, sh- sure like i mean i heard about this game i'm not a fucking gamer so like i can only imagine gamers um the the capital g gamers at large are just like well i gotta play this game it's the it's the game just like regular movie nerds are like oh latest blockbuster gotta go see that it's just like it's not like it it, it, doing numbers doesn't mean shit when it's just like the thing that's marketed and shoved down your throat and like talked about throughout like throughout the entire community i think it's a it's a really it's a really fucking big stretch if you want to look at like sales numbers for any game and be like this is evidence that my ideology is correct and and taking over and a big tide is about to change because like i don't know what 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 ideology does angry birds have because i think that's (laughs) that's the most downloaded game on the fucking planet yeah i don't know like there's a lot of very good doesn't mean anything there's a lot of very good well-made games that like do bullshit sales like they they just completely die on launch just like movies like cult classics versus like versus like fucking avatar which is a shitty movie i'm sorry i'm gonna i'm just gonna come out and say it. it's a shitty movie what no no i, I love that movie no i'm just kidding um I'm, I'm just i i actually never saw it i watched like 20 minutes of it on an on a plane i was like this movie fucking sucks i'm watching something else i will say maybe it's a, good i think it sucks i will say as the resident blue alien babes enjoyer uh i think it's pretty fucking mid so take that for what it's worth <laughs> i mean it, the, the thing is i i again i watched it on a fucking airplane on like a five inch screen in imax when it came out might have been fucking dope uh, i i do not discount that experience i actually did I'm see the saying. first one in an imax theater and it was pretty cool it was like a like a school field trip or some shit yeah um, yeah so. yeah it's like it's like going to the like the planetarium or some shit. Like I that. I had like, the the yeah. fucking 3D glasses and everything. Yeah, like, yeah, th- th- that's different. And some movies are meant to be experienced like that. Yeah, and, and I, uh, I feel if like you um, don't. Yeah, man, do do you? This is going off topic, but we're almost done with today anyway. Uh, did you ever hear about this thing where I read an an article once about how after the first Avatar movie came out, there was a whole like group of people who were experiencing like a like an acute depression where it was like. Oh, I'm so sad that that beautiful 3D world doesn't exist. I feel really depressed about being stuck on Earth. I just wish I could live in that movie. And I was like, are you serious, guys? I I am not surprised about that. Because, uh, yeah, because the, the, the world we live in for a lot of people is suffering. And, that's in, and to tie this all back into the original topic, this is why these people are so are so insane on Twitter. Because they're fucking miserable and rudderless and they need they need help they need a they need a a strong role model and i think the only people that can help them are us uh the super despair world podcast featuring briar and dave if you if you have existential ennui and you need to 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 deal with it in some type of way. Well, uh, first and foremost, email either of us at Dave at superdespairworld dot com or Briar at superdespairworld dot com, and we will cure that. Um, but also, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, give you yeah. guys I'm gonna give you guys a cure right now. Um, so I, I remember what this guy said. He said, "We make games for masculine men. Our lives are full of depression and anger." You know what? If your life is full of depression and anger, get some programmer socks, learn to do makeup, uh, maybe, maybe experiment with like how you can do it. Don't, don't give away, maybe try some new pronouns uh, and maybe, maybe find, find like a big muscular, like anthro monkey man to just like hold you and tell you everything's okay. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe that's what we need. Maybe that's, uh, maybe that's the Sun Wukong for the rest of us. I don't know. We talked about this. You're giving it all away. No, you need to, you need to rope him in a little bit. It's it's the end of the episode. Okay. This is, this is, this is the real, these are the real people still listening this far. All right. Yeah. All right. True. True. Okay. Later, later though, we gotta, yeah, we gotta do the Scientology thing. We just, okay. okay. Hey, would you like to do a survey? (laughs) Are Are you feeling tired today? 
<laughs> All right. Okay. Enough. Enough monkeying around. Let's uh, let's hey. pill our audience a little bit. Uh, let's let's wrap it up. Uh, let's let's give a little shout out to uh, our enlightened masters who have uh, achieved uh, a, a level of wisdom uh, far above that of uh, <laughs> these game devs. All right. Yeah. So th- these are um. Th- this is a list of the coolest people in the world in no particular order. Um. We have Knuckles, uh, Weasel, Dimbus. Braid, Zero, Woke Baby, Walker, Trevor, Stilson, Trash Bins, Shalom Guy, Clam, Protagon, Heresy, Nilly, and Nick. God damn! That's a fucking squad right there. That's a fucking squad. All of you, all of you will see the light of heaven or the oblivion of not being reincarnated anymore. At least one of those two. Uh, who knows which religion is correct? I'm sure at least one of them. Uh, try them all out. Uh, who knows? <laughs> it's been Thank Mormonism all along. God damn it! Oh, I drank fuck. tea today. Ah, oh, god damn it! Oh, oh, I didn't shit. wear the magical underwear. God damn! Fuck. Okay. Yeah, uh, fuck. All right. All right. Well, you know what? We tried our best. Uh, thank you guys so much for listening. Uh, you guys make the show worth doing. Uh, we love you guys very much. Uh, I think that's all we got for today. So, uh, you know what? Thanks for listening. And I guess we'll see you next week. Yes, we will see you next week. Okay. Great episode. Good fight. Good night.